What's up everyone, welcome back to the Beginner Breakdown series for King of Fighters 14. In this episode I'm going to go over Kim. If you're new to Beginner Breakdown, this video series is intended more for beginners or players who are just trying to learn the basics of a character. And with that in mind, let's get started. As per the usual, let's go over far normals. Light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. Far light punch is a mid. It whiffs on pretty much all characters in the game, unless they're a big body character. It's a little bit negative on block, but you can super and special cancel it, which makes it really useful. Far light kick is another mid, and we block both crouching or standing. It has pretty good range. It's a bit more negative than a far light punch, and you can super and special cancel it. Far heavy punch is a mid, and we block both crouching or standing. It's a little bit plus on block, but I don't believe you can super or special cancel it. Far heavy kick is a mid, and we block both crouching or standing. As you can see, if you land it, it's two hits. It does whiff on pretty much everybody on the game if they're crouching, or rather just the first hit does. The second hit will, will hit them. With the exception of big body characters, both hits will hit them, even if they're crouching. It's a little bit negative on block, and you can only super cancel it. And you can super cancel the first hit or the second hit. Next up we got close normals. Light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. Close light punch is a mid enemy block both crouching or standing. It's a tiny bit plus on a block and you can super and special cancel it. Close light kick is another mid enemy block both crouching or standing. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit negative and it's super and special cancelable. Close heavy punch is another mid enemy block both crouching or standing. It's just a little bit negative on block and you can super and special cancel it. Close heavy kick, another mid enemy block both crouching or standing. A little bit negative and it's also super and special cancelable. Next up we got crouching normals, crouching light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. Crouching light punch is a mid, we block both crouching or standing. It's a little bit plus on block, and you can chain up to three from point blank. And you can super and special cancel it. Crouching light kick is a low, it can be only be blocked crouching. It's even on block, you can chain up to three in a row from point blank. And it's super and special cancelable. Crouching heavy punch is a mid, we block both crouching or standing. It's even on block, it has pretty good range, and you can super and special cancel it. And crouching heavy kick is Kim Sweep. You can only be blocked crouching, so it is a low. It has really good range, as you see. And not only that, but it also pushes back a decent amount. So if you're at the tip, it's not really going to get punished. Unless there's some sort of like really fast um, horizontal super. And even from point blank, it pushes back a decent amount, making it pretty difficult to punish with like a fast, far normal. Not only that, but you can super and special cancel it if you wanted to try to make it safer. Next, we got jumping normals. Jumping light punch, light kick. Heavy punch and heavy kick. You're probably not going to be using jumping light kick too much. Jumping light punch, heavy punch, and heavy kick are all usable as uh, just regular jump ins. You can get anything you want off them as long as you know you time it right. And they all work as short hop buttons as well. They won't whiff on crouchers. You can just use uh, jumping heavy kick or for both short hopping and regular jump ins. It's pretty good. And you can use a uh, jumping light punch if you just need something that comes out quicker. Kim's jumping blowback attack, which you can execute by hitting heavy punch and heavy kick in while in the air. Looks like that. It's pretty standard. It's good. It won't whiff on crouchers, which is useful, so you can char up with it. And it's plus on block like most of the, or if not all of the, jumping blowback attacks. Next, we got command normals. He has two of them. First one is forward and light kick. This right here. It's an overhead, and it's a safe overhead as well. It, I mean, it is negative, but it's pretty safe on block, and it pushes back a lot. There isn't much you get off of this overhead, just raw by itself. You can super cancel it, but that's a pretty big commitment and a pretty big read. The other thing you could do is if somebody's uh, crouch blocking a lot, you can open them up with that and max mode cancel it. Next command normal he has is forward forward and light punch. This is a really quick flying kick. It goes pretty far. You're not going to be using this just by itself. It doesn't do a lot of damage and there's no reason to be using it by itself. It can be a combo tool or like a combo extender as well. It's pretty negative on block, but it does push back a lot, making it pretty difficult to punish. There might be a fast projectile in the game that could probably catch up to him, uh, Kim as he's rebounding backwards. But in most situations, it's a kind of a difficult punish, especially against low-level players. Uh, there's not really not enough time for the opponent to run up and hit you with the normal. So yeah, it's even true from point blank. That command normal is special and super cancelable. You're probably not going to be super canceling it too frequently. You're probably going to be special canceling it though if you do use it. He has two special moves in a super that he can do while he's airborne. And it's useful because he's airborne during that command move and so you can cancel that and so you know those two special moves 
or that one air super. And this move is pretty fast. You can get it off of anything with like high hit stun or low hit stun. Like you even get make a combo off of far light punch. So you can use it for like simple combos, stuff like that. If you're special canceling this, you get to cancel a little bit later than you would expect to. And a big warning about this command normal, it does whiff on crouchers and every croucher in the game. And Kim does not have a a normal move that stands opponents to make it you know consistent with a uh, consistent in comboing. So you could do something like that if you open up the opponent low in there, you know, standing. Let's quickly go over throws. Forward throw is a hard knockdown since it's full screen. You can run up to them. Back throw, not a hard knockdown, and it sends them full screen. Next, we're going to be going through Kim's special moves. First one we have is Core Circle Back Plus Kick. Here's a light kick version of it. It goes a short distance. It's only one hit. Hit kick version goes further. It does three hits, and it does more damage than the light kick version. EX goes pretty far, and it's the fastest one. And it does the second most damage. The light kick version of it is punishable negative if you're up close. It can be punished with a fast far normal, but if you're playing against low level players, that's a pretty specific punish. And there's not a lot they can probably get off of it unless they like max mode cancel. Or if they have a fast far normal that maybe is like super cancelable or something. So you don't have to worry about it too much at low level, but if you do space it like at the tip, it becomes a lot harder to punish. The heavy kick version is very negative on block, it's easy to punish. And the EX version actually is just a little bit plus on block, so it's very safe. And you have a little bit of frame advantage afterwards. Because of the startup on the light kick version and the heavy kick version, you can't really combo into these unless you're comboing into it from a button that has a lot of hit stun on it. The X one is the most comboable one. You can get it off of lights or heavies. There isn't much you get off of these mid screen. They don't lead them really anything. If you have the opponent in the corner, however, you have enough time to charge a flash kick. So that was off the light kick version if you have the opponent in the corner. You can also land the heavy kick version of that flash kick, or even EX. You don't get anything off of the heavy kick one. If you land the EX one in the corner, you can get a lot afterwards. You can get like a flash kick. You can hit him with like a heavy button afterwards for something that's really simple. You can land that command normal, the, f the forward forward light punch. And of course you can special and super cancel that. And you can land a, just a super afterwards as well or Climax Super. There isn't a ton of options you can get off of this mid-screen, however. That's the most reliable thing you can get mid-screen, since it pushes them back really far. And of course you use Special or Super Cancel that. You can also Super Cancel this special move. So if you're canceling the Light Kick version of it, there is a shortcut on it to make this a lot easier. You put Corsicle back, and then you let the stick return to neutral, and then you hit Corsicle 4 plus Kick. And if you're super canceling on the heavy kick version of it, you want to cancel on the last hit. And there's nothing tricky about these special moves, they're all mid, so they may block both crouching or standing. Next special move, Kim has his cortical back plus kick while in the air. This is flip kick right here. It's pretty much like the last special move, exactly the same. It's just you can do it in the air as well. So the light kick version of it looks like that. Heavy kick looks like that. EX looks like that. Each one does more damage than last, so light kick version of it does the least amount of damage. Heavy Kick does more, and EX does the most if you can get both hits to land. You can Tiger Knee these special moves to try to get them really low to the ground, which makes them less negative than they were if they were higher up. So the Light Kick version and the EX version of them, when they're really low to the ground like that, they're difficult to punish, maybe even unpunishable. The Heavy Kick version of it, even low to the ground, is decently punishable. You're not going to be really using these by themselves, like just like jumping in. There's really no big point to doing that unless you need to change your jump trajectory for whatever reason. Their use comes from being able to do it off of that 4-4 light punch. So that was a light kick version of it. You can't combo into the heavy kick version of it. It's too much of a gap there. Or too much startup on the heavy kick version rather. And you can also combo into the EX one from that. If you're curious how safe this is, if you just like commit to the whole thing and they block it, it's punishable with a fast far normal. So it's a pretty specific punish, and I don't think low-level players are going to be looking for it or like 
are going to be able to react quick enough and know which button to press. So you can definitely get away with it at a low level. And you can super cancel. You can super cancel the light kick version of it. Or you can super cancel both, rather. The light kick and heavy kick. It's just the light kick one you'll actually probably get a chance to super cancel. At least off of this sequence. Because the heavy kick one won't combo off of that. And there's really much you get off of these at all. Unless you're using the X when you have the pun in the corner, in which case you can get a flash kick. And again, if you happen to have missed this part in the command normal section, you're canceling into those come get sums a little bit later than you would expect, at least off of that forward forward light punch. Kim also has a flash kick. It's charged downwards and then hit up and kick after a little bit. Looks like that. That's the light kick version of it. And then the EX version of it has three hits, does more damage. Also has a follow up at the end of it. After the third hit, you can hit down and heavy kick and you'll spike him to the ground like that for a little bit more damage and a hard knockdown. And the EX version does the most damage and you get that whole sequence right there. So you can use these as anti airs if you got a good read on a jump in and you happen to have a down back charge. I think each of them have a little bit of invincibility on startup. The heavy kick and EX version have the most invincibility. So you can use them as reversals in certain situations or go through, get through like certain block strings if there's a gap in there. They're also really easy combo tools if you happen to go in low like that. It'll pretty much combo from anything as long as you're within range and provided the button is special cancelable. And you can also super cancel the light kick and heavy kick version of them. It's a little bit harder to super cancel the light kick version of it. You do have to do some shortcut inputs. So you charge it downwards and then you go from down to down back, back and up back. And that's when you hit kick for the flash kick. And then you return back to neutral and do cortical forward plus kick. I'll try to put the notation in uh, somewhere up, up on the screen right now. The heavy kick version of the flash kick is a lot easier to super cancel. You just want to super cancel on the third hit. Kim has another air move. It's cortical forward plus kick on the air this right there. So if it actually lands, it looks like that. He does all those kicks. The light kick and heavy kick version of them are the same thing in terms of damage and hits. They do have a different trajectory though. Light kick has about a, like a shallow tra trajectory. Heavy kick is just a little bit further. The EX version of this is only two hits. And it does just a little bit more damage than the regular version. Both light kick and the heavy kick version are pretty negative on block but it does push Kim back a lot, making the punish a little bit specific or they have to run up and hit a quick button to punish you just as you land. If you're in the corner, however, it's pretty easy to punish. And it's pretty negative even if you do it lower to the ground. Like you can tie your knee these and uh, it's still negative. EX on the other hand is only just a little bit negative. It's not punishable. And it's both if the EX version is lower to the ground or high up, just a little bit negative. I guess if you tie your knee these perfectly, that is to say, get him like as low as possible to the ground. They will whiff. If you wait just a little bit longer than that tiger knee, it'll you know you'll hit the opponent. You're probably not gonna be using this too much mid screen. There isn't really a need to use this at all. You can't get this off of his forward forward light punch. If you use the heavy kick version of that move mid screen, you can combo into it. It's just a really late cancel, and you'll like clip the person's toes, and it'll all combo. But regardless, yeah, you can't get anything off the light kick version of it mid screen. You can get it off of his 4-4 life punch in the corner though, but again, that cancels a little bit later than you'd expect. Because if you cancel it too quick, it's just going to whiff like that. You can land the EX one in the corner, and it leaves the opponent standing and you're right next to them. There's just not really a lot you can get that's easy right after it in the corner. It does become useful in some more advanced combos, which uh, I don't really know offhand. And you can super cancel it as well. There's nothing crazy about this move. It, it's a mid, so we block both crouching or standing. Next up, we got supers. He has one that's cortical forward twice and then kick. That's a light kick version of it. It sends them flying kind of far. Heavy kick leads them a little bit closer to you as they're falling down. That'll be useful in a sec. I'll explain. And then EX causes a like a ground bounce. If you've ever played King of Fighters once and tried Kim for the first time and you like mash that super and you got it on accident or something or you're just mashing buttons you're probably wondering 
what the f like why it did so little damage compared to his other super and it was easier to do we were supposed to hit them as they're falling down that's why so it could potentially do as much damage as the other super depending on what you choose to do afterwards and there's really a lot of easy or hard stuff that you could do afterwards depending on what your execution level is so for example if you land the light kick version of it that's like the most common thing you can do it's because they're far away you can hit forward forward light punch and then cancel that into something into the uh you know air come get some and you're kind of pushing the opponent closer to the corner when you do that kind of like that for example and of course you could have super cancel that air come get some for uh it's a little bit easier to get stuff off of the heavy kick version mid screen because it leaves them close you can mash blow back attack and it'll hit them as they come down you can it gives you enough time to charge like heavy kick flash kick and uh, you can get all that damage and you can super cancel that flash kick as well you can even link those two supers together without advanced canceling so you can really keep it as simple or as complex as you want and as you guess the X version allows you to get more after it as well kinda like that or you know you have enough time to charge a, a flash kick and we're going to another super next super he has is core circle back half circle forward plus kick and this can also be done in the air. In the air it looks just a little bit different and I believe it's one more hit. There's an EX version of both of those as well. So that was the air EX. And that was the ground EX. Then Kim's Climax Super is core circle back, half circle forward in both punches. If you wanted to cancel a super into another super, that is to say you want to advance cancel and not link the two supers, because as I went over, the kick super, you can easily link the, uh, I guess they're both kick supers, huh? You can you can uh, link this super into the other supers pretty easily. And you can advance cancel as well. So if you're canceling from the ground rush super, what does it call it? You want to cancel on the 8th hit before he uh, goes airborne. And if you want to advance cancel from the airborne super, you're canceling one hit later. So you're, instead of canceling on the 8th, you're canceling on the 9th. There's some Kim combos to get you started. So just easy stuff that you could do, his close heavy buttons into the come get some, that'll combo, and uh, both the light kick and heavy kick version. If you know the opponent's going to be standing after like some, some sort of big punish and they're not in a crouching state, you could throw in the command normal as well. And then cancel that into the, the air come get some. From crouching he does get some easy stuff though. Like that's pretty easy. It has a two crouching light kicks into a crouching light punch, and I special cancel that into the flash kick. And you can go into the heavy kick version as well for more damage. You can also get something like that. It's a little bit harder to confirm into, and the opponent has to be standing when you open them up below. If they're crouching and just not blocking for whatever reason, and you open and you hit them, that's not going to work. Those are probably the easiest place to start with Kim, and of course refer to the special move section and probably the command normal section as well. That way you can have an idea of how you can convert some of these special moves into more damage and how you can get that command normal. Alright, thanks for watching the Kim Beginner Breakdown. Now just a quick aside, I know that that special move is called uh, Hungetsuzan, I believe. I just like calling it Come Get Some because ever since I've first played King of Fighters a long time ago, especially with like the old voices and like the, the quality of the voices, to me it sounded uh, like Come Get Some for the longest time and I knew he wasn't saying that. It's like the old, it's like Street Fighter 2. When you hear the Ryu saying like you know what the Tatsumaki Simpu Kyaku and you're like and you're like what what is he saying and you put your own you know words to it and then you actually hear what it's called or they give you a command list or something and you're reading like what that's what that's what it's called regardless if you found this episode useful feel free to hit that subscribe button and with that let's go to member select.
So at this point in the roster, I'm it's kind of dwindling down to characters that I have um, lukewarm feelings towards, or yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Lukewarm, I'd say. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna mostly just go down the list, which means next up will be Gongil, and then do my best to avoid Team Mexico because I'm not looking forward to figuring out what all those command normals she has uh, do, or if they're good, or if they're useful. Thank you for watching the Kim Beginner Breakdown. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you next episode.